Google Gemini AI is here. No more Google Bard, which I think is a good thing because I thought that name was really Bard. Yes, we've now got Gemini. Uh, it looks pretty similar to Bard, but it's far more powerful and is their full release. It's, it's no longer in beta. So I've been playing around with it to see how useful it is, especially as a keyword research tool, an article planner, and basically as something that can help you create great content for your website or blog. My first impressions are it works really well. And in fact, we may be moving into an era where you no longer need to pay for expensive keyword research tools. So let me jump on the computer and show you some of the cool stuff you can do with Google Gemini to help you come up with article ideas, do keyword research, and just generally streamline your entire content creation process. Let's go. So here we are, this is Google Gemini. You can find it over at gemini.google.com. Uh, you will need to log in with your Google account, uh, and then you're presented with a screen that looks just like this. I'm gonna be doing some research today with Google Gemini on a made up niche. It's not a real website that I'm working on. And the niche that I've chosen is nature photography. Of course, you don't need to follow my prompts exactly. I just wanna show you the kind of stuff that I've been doing to inspire you uh, to use some prompts with Google Gemini as well and, and see what you can do. But what I've been doing has been generating some quite interesting stuff. So let's see what we're gonna get right now. So let's start with getting some kind of keyword ideas for our new nature photography website. So. I'm gonna type in, please, I always think it's good to be polite, especially with robots. You know, you never know what could happen in the future. It could turn bad, and you wanna be the one that the robots identify as the polite one, maybe. Okay, so um, please, please give me some keyword clusters for a nature photography website. There we go. Now I like using Google over chat GPT because I've got a feeling that the data might be better because in theory, Google Gemini knows Google quite well, including the search results and keyword volumes and all that kind of stuff. Maybe not, I don't know, but it just makes sense to me that if you're gonna be researching, you know, search engine stuff, then Google would be a good place to do that. Okay, so it's given us some keyword clusters, which are a great start. The first one is uh, location-based. So, you know, writing stuff about specific uh, regions or countries or types of environments, which is great. And these kind of clusters are great for building topical authority, which is a bit of an SEO buzz term at the moment. If you're gonna write about a subject, you need to cover it quite broadly, but also in a lot of detail so that you know, Google can see that you are an expert around a particular subject. So these are some great clusters. We've got subject base, we've got animals, flora and weather. We've got techniques. So about composition, exposure and post processing. And then there's audience based. So stuff for beginners, stuff for professionals, stuff for travel enthusiasm, enthusiasms, enthusiasts. And then we've got some additional clusters like conservation, art and inspiration. It then gives you a few little tips, which is nice. Use a mix of broad and specific keywords, research the search volume. And uh, we'll be coming to search volume in a minute because you can get that data out of Google Gemini. I hope this gives you a good start. It does give me a good start, Gemini, thank you very much. So let's see if we can expand this out further. It gave me five clusters. So we could say, please, for the five clusters you just gave me, um, Give me five article ideas for each. Let's see what we get. So here we go, we've got some nice article ideas. I've noticed that a lot of AI article titles have this kind of colon in. Have you noticed that where it's like, blah, 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 colon, blah, blah, blah. Of course you can change these as you like. But yeah, these are some great ideas for some articles and we can get some more information. So as I mentioned, you get some search volume uh, on these. Let's go for the uh, the first one. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this so I can put it in. Um, for the article, um, let's put it in uh, some speech brackets. 
that you suggested. Please give me some keywords with their competition. If I can spell competition, will be okay. How do you spell competition? There we go. <laughs> with their competition and search volumes. Let's see what we get. So here we go, we've got some nice keywords here uh, with their volumes, their competition. Now, of course, you're probably gonna wanna include all of these keywords in your articles, but it gives you some idea in terms of maybe what to prioritize on like Yosemite Photography Sunset. Interesting, quite a lot of search and medium competition. So you can see how you can get a lot of data out of Google um, Gemini, but let's take this one step further. So what we can do is we can get Google Gemini to help us write the article. Now, of course, you don't want AI to write the entire article. You want to write the article yourself because I think uh, it's going to soon be the end of complete AI content. I mean, at the moment, a lot of people are ranking with it, but that's not going to last, in my opinion. You still need to create your own content, but you can use AI to uh, speed up that process. So, for example, this one, Capturing the Majesty of Yosemite, A Guide to Landscape Photography. Let's copy that. Please give me an article outline for, I'm gonna put it in. Actually, I should have expanded that a little bit more. Let's see what we get. Okay, this is good. So it's given us a whole structure there of what we can write. Briefly introduce uh, Yosemite as a photographer's paradise. Yeah, da, da, da. We could maybe ask for more. Give me the give me some ideas for article headings on the above. I should put a please in, shouldn't I? For the above, we and highlight if they should. B, H, twos, H, three, etc. So this will give us some headings that we can use. Looking nice, looking good. So this is already giving us a nice structure with all our headings and, uh, you know, whether they should be H2 or H3s, maybe H4s. Okay, this is coming together really nice. Now, one of the interesting things that I found is if you ask Google Gemini to actually write you the article, it, it won't. But let's see if it will this time. Please write the, oh, let's write the right, right, write the entire article. Now, as I said, I wouldn't recommend that you do publish entire articles, but it's interesting to see what it spits out. And if it can't write the article, it will give us lots of ideas and inspiration on how to write that article. So let's see what we get. Please write the entire article for the above. Oh, it's going to do it. Okay. I mean, it's not particularly comprehensive, as you can see, but mm, it's a good, good start for sure. Okay, so that's pretty handy. But what you can do is um, ask it for some inspiration and ideas. It, I think that's a better way of doing it, especially if you're going to be writing it yourself. So let's get this article title again. Please give me some ideas, inspiration, tips, and tips on how I can create an amazing article on, let's put it in speeches, that will rank well on Google search. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we're doing it again. 
You're going to give me a couple of drafts there. Let's see. Sometimes it gives you multiple outputs. It has, yeah, multiple drafts. So if we come up here, um, we've got three different drafts, which is interesting. So, and I think these tips are really good. So go, on, go beyond basic tips, offer unique insights and techniques specific to Yosemite, share personal experiences. I think that's great. Anecdotes, feature stunning visuals, include high quality photographs, tell a story, cater to different skill size, uh, skill levels even. Um, yeah, that's some basic stuff there. We know this. Let's see what um, what we got for draft two. It's quite similar. But some great tips, um, nevertheless. So maybe you are going to write this article and you're interested in what the competition is like, what Google thinks uh, are good articles that rank. Well, you can ask uh, Gemini that too. Um, let's type in which articles currently do well on Google search that are similar to the article I'm going to write titled the title and hopefully we get some ideas now it hasn't included links please give me links for the above Ah, oh, can't give links. Okay, but it tells you how to find it. Let's see. By Mads Peter. Let's see if we can find it. I can copy the whole thing. Mads Peter. Here we go. So, you know, there's some articles for some uh, that are already out there that are ranking well that can give you some inspiration. Now, of course, you can just do basic keyword research. Um, just get the pure keywords. So give me a list of keywords with search volume and um, competition about um, photo graphing or photography in Yosemite. And then it'll just give you a list, a bit like, you know, the traditional keyword tools. Now, of course, these are quite difficult to copy and paste, so you can ask it to I can easily copy and paste. Very easy. There we go. And if you need more, give me 50 more. Just got to have a conversation with Gemini, really. So there we go. Hopefully that's given you uh, an idea of what can be done with Gemini and inspires you to use it as a research tool and as a tool that can help you create some fantastic content. If you discover some great prompts that work well for you, do let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Google Gemini. Maybe you've been using AI to help you with your content creation. I'd love to hear how it's been going and the kind of cool stuff that you've been getting up to with AI. If you enjoyed this video, a click on the like button really does help me out. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and got that notification bell clicked to avoid missing any upcoming videos and streams. But until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.